Welcome to the John 717 Challenge, a 90-day discipleship journey through the teachings of Christ to experience God and find life to the full. This audio recording is based on the book, available for purchase or as a free email devotional at john717.com. This book is read by myself, Michael Criswell, and includes personal journal recordings I made along my journey to find life to the full in Christ. Now it's your turn. Oh soul, are you weary in trouble? No light in the darkness you see. There's a Day two, category, life to the full, rest. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Have I found the rest of Christ from the burden of dead religious activity and my futile efforts to live godly in my own strength? Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Insight. If you have a burden, whether it is from sin, suffering, or self-effort, thank God because He wants to carry it for you. A person who has no burden has no perceived need for Christ. They get along just fine without Him, or so they think. If you are needy, you are in a great place to meet the God of the needy and helpless. Psalm 12, 5, Psalm 35, 10, and Psalm 40, 10. After chasing the carrot of business success for several years, I finally grabbed it. I even achieved more than I expected as the company grew at 300% annually. I had the beautiful office space, the personal freedom, the great income, a bit of notoriety, and a pretty incredible comeback story. So what could have possibly been wrong? I had no peace in my heart. I woke up completely miserable one day, and I stayed that way for about 18 months. I had to start riding my dirt bike more and more just to escape the stress. Eventually, I realized that my business was growing simply for the sake of growing. This is what cancer does because it has no other purpose. I spent a solid year searching for solutions to relieve my burden. I hired Zig Ziglar's personal favorite consultant. I brought on a business development manager, considered strategic alliances, considered changing the business plan, entertained selling the business, and I even tried to simplify by putting all of my eggs into one client basket. No matter what I tried, nothing worked. Things just got worse and my burden remained. At one point, as I was inquiring of the Lord about it all, I began to sense that He was telling me, you are making progress, but in the wrong direction. I made you for more than this. Finally, on October 30th, 2009, I had what Oswald Chambers refers to as my white funeral day. I died to myself and gave Jesus my whole burden and life. I got on my knees and said, Jesus, I quit. I'm not happy anymore. I am torn between my love for you and success. I need your help and I want to give everything to you. I'm scared to death. 
But Lord, even if you need to take my family, I give you everything. I'm not holding back anything. Please have your way with me, Lord. Now, do not read or listen to this next part and think that this is guaranteed to happen to you if you surrender to Jesus. This is what I needed, not necessarily you. You'll understand more as you read the book. Incredibly, nine months to the day of that prayer, on July 30th, 2010, my wife filed for divorce, took our children, and my whole world collapsed. God stripped me of everything, and it was very hurtful, but He was doing it all for my ultimate good and His glory. It has been one wild journey, but today I am the happiest and most joy-filled I have ever been, and it has nothing to do with my circumstances. As you keep reading, you'll see how I found rest from Jesus and why what He allowed to happen in my life was such a good and loving thing. What is your particular burden? What problem in your life are you still trying to fix yourself? It may initially cost you some spiritual skin, but I challenge you to surrender your burden and life fully to Jesus. He will show up and give you a rest that maybe you've never known before. This portion of the audiobook contains actual recordings from my real-time journal entries which showcase how God dealt with me along my own journey. I've just finished getting to the end of my walk here on the 18th of October. Not to the end of it, but halfway back, back to my little cul-de-sac and pray. And um, I just really confess to the Father that I'm feeling weary that for the last three days or so, it's been hard. Um, it's, I mean, I'm having to endure. I mean, this is the endurance. It is not all bells and whistles and fun and games. And I have told the Father, I'm feeling even tired about praying. You know, normally I have lots of energy to pray. And there again, it's like that spirit of Python, just like what Jensen Franklin talks about. He wants to choke off your ability to pray. So I'm, I'm enduring in prayer. It is a labor, but I'm doing it, and um, everything feels like a labor right now. Like, I've told the Father, Lord, I need, I need something good to happen. I need some meat, is what I said to the Father. You know, I said, I feel bad, because that's what the Israelites were saying. We need meat, we need meat. But I feel like God has told me all these promises are to come. You know, and I'm just like, God, please help me. I mean, this can be a, it can be a frightening, miserable experience waiting for something that God has told you He will give you. The first scripture that comes to mind is, hope deferred makes a heart grow sick, but a longing fulfilled is like a tree of life. And that's what I need. I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling low. I'm starting to feel, you know, like, man, we need to get something in the tank here. I normally am flying at such a high altitude with God, and I've been weakened. And it's like a couple of days ago, I could be so lifted up and strong. But the reality is, is I'm, I'm, I'm literally just being carried on God's grace because there is nothing great going on. Oh, here comes Mr. Frank. There's nothing super great going on in my life. I need to pause this so I can talk to him. Frank. Oh man, I wish I could have left the recorder. I wish I could have left the recorder going. Oh, here I was in the middle of praying, (laughs) asking God to refresh me. Here I am in the middle of making this recording, first of all, about being weary and needing some encouragement. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. God Almighty, I thank you. God Almighty, I thank you. Man, this is so awesome. God God is good. God is good. This is incredible. I literally was just walking down in my cul-de-sac. I was telling Father, God, I need help. 
I need you to encourage me, Lord. My circumstances are discouraging and I'm feeling a little light and I need you to help me. And I said, God, anything. I said, you could send me a, a good email from somebody saying they, you know, enjoying the videos or a testimony or, you know, a new salvation. I said, anything like that, God, would help. <laughs> I just stopped the recording because I saw Frank. He's the guy that walks in this neighborhood who I see. You know, I've seen him now four or five times. And just one day I introduced myself to him and said, hey, we're practically walking buddies. And uh, he subscribed. He went and watched my story and subscribed. And he just said, Mike, I loved this morning's video, man. He said, I just got done watching it this morning before I left the house. And he said, I look forward to them every day. And I just, and this guy is retired <clears throat> engineer. He's probably 60. 63 years old super healthy guy walker uh, just very healthy looking very nice and he just patted me on the back and he said keep up the great work man keep up the great work and I tell you that just blesses me I'm gonna walk the rest of the way down the mountain with a smile on my face how awesome is God to answer my prayer right in the middle of while I'm doing a a, uh, a journal entry about my prayer to God to be encouraged. God is awesome. is based on the book available for purchase or as a free email devotional at john717.com. This book is read by myself, Michael Criswell, and includes personal journal recordings I made. A Welcome to the John 717 Challenge, a 90-day discipleship journey through the teachings of Christ to experience God and find life to the full. This audio rip along my journey to find life to the full in Christ. Now it's your turn. Oh, so